Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by thanking China Diamond and Gem Exchange for inviting me to the first International Gemstone and Diamond Trade Summit. I must admit from the outset that, unlike many of you attending this maiden summit, I'm not an expert in this field. I'm neither a gemologist nor a designer. But I can claim one fact. I'm a representative of my country to China. And that country, ladies and gentlemen, is Tanzania, home to one particular type of gemstone described as a geological phenomenon that is 1,000 times rare than diamond. That gemstone, ladies and gentlemen, is called Tanzanite, a blue gem famous for its rarity and brilliance, found solely in one place in the entire world, in Tanzania, the country that it was named after. Tanzanite truly reflects the beauty of human soul. It is one gem that survived through tough geological eruptions, flames, and pressure. Tanzanite beauty is enhanced through it, the toughness of its own formation, like the phoenix rose from the ash. The natural power that the stone carries are so sacred that it is believed to bring perseverance in spirit and strength in the body for the worthy one who could carry it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanzanite reflects the gem's limited geographical region, as all the mines are located in an area of around eight square miles near the base of Mount Kilimanjaro in Miralani. And that area, ladies and gentlemen, has been declared by the government of Tanzania as a mining controlled area. It has been secured by a wall with a perimeter of 24.5 kilometer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sure that most of you are familiar with all that I've just said. And probably some of you might be asking, then why should we trust you? Why should we believe you are not an expert? Well, what I've just said may be verified by some of the household names in the jewelry and gemstone industry. When Tiffany and company introduced Tanzanite in 1968, they said that Tanzanite was the first transparent deep blue gemstone to be discovered in more than 2,000 years. They also say that the beauty and attraction of Tanzanite lie in its colors, including green, red, purple, and blue, depending on which angle you look at it. That is why many designers around the world have used Tanzanite in their work. Combining Tanzanite with other stones creates a dance between the colors. No wonder, for many years, Tanzanite has been a precious stone of choice to the royals, movie stars, musicians, and all other beautiful, independent, and powerful women around the world. The high-profile events in movie world has seen Tanzanites paraded by well-known faces along the red carpets. The heart of ocean in the acclaimed movie Titanic is another beautiful stone that is Tanzanite. While in the movie, it was a bit depicted as a blue diamond. In reality, blue diamonds do not possess such a deep blue salutation. The stone was actually a 28 carat heart shaped Tanzanite. And lately, the Swiss luxury brand Bernard Meyer BHM featured Tanzanite in its newest collection. Their products are sold through the QNET e commerce platform. This is the latest endorsement of Tanzanite in the global gem industry. Ladies and gentlemen, with these many words, my intention is threefold. First, to convince Chinese jewelry designers to use Tanzanite in their work. Secondly, to convince Chinese gemstone collectors to add Tanzanite in their collection. Third, to convince Chinese women wear Tanzanite jewelry to bring them perseverance in spirit and strength. For anyone whose birthday is in December, Tanzanite is your birthstone. You should have it, as it will bring you charm and luck. I'm happy that some Chinese designers, including Wallace Chan, Wendy Yu, Anna Hu, and Cynthia Ruan, have used Tanzanite in their work. We hope to see more Chinese designers following in their footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, besides Tanzanite, Tanzania is endowed with many other types of gemstones, including ruby, sapphire, emerald, spino, alexandrite, tourmaline, aquamarine, glen garnet, color change garnet, mixed color garnet, and many more. Tanzania has also been a significant natural rough diamond producer for, for many decades. Over 300 kimberlites exist in Tanzania, of which 20% are 
Hydamophorus. Also, Tanzania is famous for producing exclusive pink diamonds from Williamson Diamond Mines. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude my remarks by welcoming the potential Chinese buyers to partner with Tanzanian dealers and forge win-win cooperation. We also welcome Chinese investors to partner with Tanzanian mining license holders to invest in gemstone value chain. And finally, let me assure you that the Embassy of Tanzania is ready to work with the China Diamond and Gemstone Exchange in Macau to facilitate Tanzanian mining companies, gemstone traders, and jurors to access the Chinese market. I thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Cheshe.